I'm a small town kid. I'm very personal. I like to keep things to myself, keep my family, like my circle small. But if you talk to me, then I'll go out of my way to get to know you. And I think that for people who moved into Emporium that weren't there when I was younger and I got to know throughout my life, um, I, it's kind of the same thing. Like they came to our house to have dinner or something and like my family would kind of like absorb them. And it's kind of what I did when I moved here was I'm new. I'm kind of in like a new spot and get to know everybody individually throughout the summer and now everybody is a super close knit group. The, the place has kind of started to really like slow down. Um, like a lot of the manufacturing that was in, in town has kind of moved elsewhere and they shut down one of the powdered metal companies in, in the uh, far side of town. So it's slowly starting to like, I don't even know the right word. It's just slowing down, I guess. And I think that me going and, and doing something that I, everybody always was like, oh, like one of the kids in, in that, because I had a really athletic grade, one of the kids will go do something. Well, I just happened to grow and be 6'8", leaving high school, and, and had the opportunity to go there, and it was a huge deal. I mean, everybody had Bucknell shirts, and by the time I was a senior, everybody had uh, a Go Bison shirt with a number four on the back, and uh, when I get to go home and I go out to eat, or I'm, I'm at home and I get a text message, and I see, or I go see my parents in school, and I see a kid wearing that, like, that means a lot to me, because that means, like, I've, I've kind of made a difference, or I, I've made an impact on somebody's life that I might not know, but like that kid will look up to me or whatever, like whatever the case may be. And I think for me, like it really keeps me grounded because then it's like I know like where I come from isn't big, but like I'm making a big impact on a kid's life.